Hi, I'm Mel and I am Double Pisces Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading for Pisces, so today is the 30th of May 2024. Let's see what's in your energy today, Pisces. So just remember this is a Pisces collective reading. Take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you watch this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, Pisces, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you watch the video is when you're supposed to receive the messages. Okay, Pisces, let's do it. Messages for Pisces. Too many. I'll grab this first one. You have the lovers. First card of the reading. Of the kippers, anyway. You have imprisonment. And courthouse. So there's lovers here. Two lovers, a union, a union of soulmates. Divine union, innocence, pure. Love. 100% pure love. Crystal waters that could be coming out to you. That song. Um, but the lovers. You've got two people here. Passion. Chemistry, fire. There's an imprisonment though. There's some type of stuckness about a ruling, about this connection. You've got great fortune. There's someone in their head, imprisonment. You know, this person could be in actual jail. They may not be. You know, take what resonates for you, Pisces. This person could just be imprisoned in the mind about a ruling, wanting to come in with a ruling about this union. You've got great fortune. So this is something that I feel is going to be a good thing for you. This ruling, whatever this is. Let's grab out the tarot now. There's someone with some type of burdens being imprisoned in their mind. Let's grab out the tarot. Messages for Pisces. Queen of Wands. The Queen of Swords. Let's get some queens coming out. The Knight of Swords. So you have a Queen of Swords and a Knight of Swords coming towards each other with words. Someone's coming in quickly. She's sitting there expecting this, waiting for this. The Seven of Cups. Center of your reading today, Pisces. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Going deep within for answers. The Page of Swords. The Five of Swords. The Empress. And the Sun. On the back of the deck, you've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Wands.
We'll grab out some clarifiers for these Pisces. But to start the reading, you've got the Queen of Wands. A passionate queen, someone that is a warrior queen too, a fighter, but she's also the peacemaker, I feel. She also is someone that's very passionate. As I said, they follow their dreams, someone that uses their intuition also. So someone that uses the spiritual world. What is the Queen of Wands? You've got the Five of Cups. So as I said, you could be the peacemaker. You've got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. You hold the sunflower. You know, you hold the happiness. You may give people happiness. But you're someone that follows your dreams. You follow your desires. You fight for yourself. You've got the Ace of Swords. So some type of heartbreak and loss. So there's some type of heartbreak and loss that I feel you're letting go of with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So the Four of Pentacles upright is holding on, not wanting to let go, but there's a new beginning. You know, there's clarity and truth in this loss. So there could have been something that you're sad about in the past. I feel like this is past energy. You're someone that is very passionate, someone that I feel you are Pisces. So you don't look at things, I feel, very logically sometimes. You could feel those emotions, but I feel like you're letting go of something that was of a loss and regret to you. So whatever this is in your world, there could have been some type of clarity and vision that I feel helped you let go of this. This is something you did not want to let go of, but I feel like you are now pushing towards the future. You're pushing towards things that you're passionate about. You know, you sit in this queen energy. You're making the decision. This could have been with someone that has Aries in their chart. It doesn't have to be. This could have been with someone that was the father of your children, someone that you could have been in a relationship with. It could have been a friend or a family member. But whatever this is that you're letting go of, it did hurt you, but you're ready for a new start. You're looking at it logically, looking at things like everything happens for a reason. So for the Queen of Swords, you have the Hermit. You have the Devil. You having these boundaries up, I feel, Pisces, as you move forwards, you're sitting in Queen energy. You do have the Empress coming out here in the future. So I feel like you've got all these Queens coming out. You are sitting in that divine feminine energy, uh, no matter what your sex is, male or female, you sit in divine feminine energy and you're focusing on your path and you're focusing on the things you're supposed to be focusing on at the moment. So what is the queen of swords? But you look at it all logically now. You don't, I feel like you have those boundaries up. You don't show that emotion as much anymore. You learn some type of lesson. And then you've got the eight of pentacles. So as I said, you're someone that's evolved. You're someone that uses logic a lot more now. You come out as the Queen of Swords here. So someone that's been through a lot in their past, I feel like you will listen to people. You will. There's some type of like a forgiveness kind of thing. But if it's only, you know, deserved. And I feel like there has been a lot of work for you to get into this energy, to you for you to get into this Queen energy you know, you have had to go deep within. You've got the hermit coming out here. There could have been a challenge that you needed to work on and you kicked that snake off the road. This was something that was leaving you stuck, something that was stopping you from getting down to business. So I feel like there's a lot of work getting done now while you sit in this logic energy because there could have been some type of codependency, some type of addiction, but there was something that was keeping you stuck and it was some type of snake in the road, like a challenge. But you've learned that lesson. I feel like you're saying carry on. What is the Knight of Swords for Pisces here? What's this Knight of Swords for Pisces? You've got the Seven of Swords. So there could have been someone that could have deceived you. 
uh, someone that there could be no communication with, someone could have blocked you, ghosted you, someone was a bit of a sly fox, this person could have air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they don't have to, uh, you've got a knight here, so an action taker, this person could run in with words to say at times and then take all those swords away and leave with nothing to be heard or seen from them. You've got the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and the star in reverse. The moon on the back of the deck. So this person comes charging into you. After you leave something, a loss, a regret, something that was a lesson, and then you have this night running forwards. This could be that person from the past. It is a night. As I said, this is someone that comes in and out. You know, it doesn't have to be relationship for you. Everyone's not looking at relationship, but this is someone that could have deceived you, someone that could have manipulated you in the past, someone that's a bit of a sly fox. With the Hierophant coming out, Taurus energy, they could have Taurus in their chart. I feel like this is this person that there was some type of lesson being learned. I feel like you're both learning some type of lesson. With the star coming out in reverse, I feel like you both are learning a lesson. This person's coming in because there is lessons that you both need to learn from each other in this lifetime, okay? And this is going to help you in the next lifetime. I feel like this wish fulfillment, I feel this person is not being vulnerable. They're coming in with words to say. So they have something to say to you. They're not thinking when they come in, um, but they're trying to stop you. But I feel like there's some type of lesson. I feel like this person looks up to you like you are like some type of spiritual person. With the star coming out in reverse, I feel like this person looks at you like some type of wish fulfillment. This person doesn't want to be vulnerable around you. They don't want to show their emotions. It's really coming out. They're coming out with this sword energy. So someone that likes to like always have the last word, always likes to show like aggression. Do not like to show emotion. But they have something to say to you and I feel like it's got something to do with this lesson that you learnt with this person. On the back of the deck, you've got the moon, Pisces, Cancer energy. That could be significant also, those two signs. Uh, but there's some type of illusion, I feel, when this person does come in. Like, they do want to stop you from moving on. But they don't want to tell you a truth, okay? There's an illusion with this. There's a mask being hidden, Rose-coloured glasses is coming out today. Like, I never hear that saying at my work, at my normal job. And my boss actually said rose-coloured glasses to me today. And I only just thought about it until right now. And the Seven of Cups, the rose-coloured glasses, an illusion... What is the Seven of Cups? So I feel like they're coming in with illusion, coming in, you know, not trying to be... I don't feel like they're trying to hide something. Well, they are trying to hide something on purpose, but they just don't want to show you emotion. This person wants to show you aggression that keeps coming out. So for the Seven of Cups, you've got the Queen of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. This person could be online. You could have options in your life. This could be one of the options. This person coming into your life, choosing whether you want to choose them or not. Because you come out as the Queen of Swords here. Again, someone that does want to move into calmer water. Um, I feel like you want some type of action forward. You don't want sadness, loss, regret turbulence like you did in the past okay 
you want to move forwards into calmer water. Um, you know you don't want that anymore. And to me, you had that in the past and you don't want it again. Queen of Wands on the back of the deck. You're this passionate queen. You're looking for something that you desire. There's something that you've manifested that you're looking for, okay? And you're not going to stop looking until you find it. I feel like you're going to listen to what this person has to say. As I said, this could be a past energy. You do want to move into calm water and you're going to make an option or choose an option, sorry. This person is going to come in. But when they come in, there's this illusion, as I said, like you want to move forwards. You have these boundaries up. You're the queen of swords. You're someone that's been through it all. You will listen to what people have to say, but you will cut them off if need be. Let's keep going. So I feel like they're trying to hold some type of illusions over you while you move into karma water with this energy. What's the hermit? What is the hermit? You have the page of pentacles. The magician. And the empress. So with the Hermit coming out, Virgo energy, that could be significant. The sign Virgo, this person could have Virgo in their chart. I feel like you are this Hermit. I did see the Hermit before. You're now moving, I feel, towards this. You may be choosing this. This person's coming in with something to say and you, you choose to move with it and you choose to move into Karma Water. As I said, you are this hermit. You're following this star here. There's some type of new beginning that I feel you are starting with this energy. You've also got the magician coming out, Virgo energy. This person wants to come in. They may want to collaborate with you. They may want to give you some type of gift. But I feel like, you know, they come in as a page. You know, they come in as this page. They could be younger. They could have earth in their chart. I feel this person does want you to be in a union with them. You know, they come to you as this page. They could be younger. They don't have to be. They could just be not as mature in the mind. You know, this person does look up to you. They look at you like the divine feminine. And as I said, you come out as this divine feminine energy, someone that's grounded, someone that's balanced, someone that's very spiritual, connected to the stars. You are the divine femme. And then they come in as this page. So they look at themselves, I feel, as someone that's not worthy of what you have, I feel. But this is something I feel they manifested. You know, this person wants to come in and give you something. Give you a hand, come together. But there's a new journey taking place. What is the Page of Swords? You have the Seven of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Queen of Wands. The 
page of swords there could be someone watching online could be watching you online You've got the Queen of Wands coming out here again. Fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And I feel like this is you, though. I feel like the energy is like some type of third party. You've also got the Wheel of Fortune. So there could have been time that has progressed with you in this energy that's gone by this person could be someone that you you may have known for a while. This person could have a third party. They could have had a third party. Someone that was a karmic cycle in their life. Sagittarius energy could also be significant. Someone that time has gone by, okay? So this could be someone from their past watching you. They may know who you are. You may know who they are. You may not know who they are. But I feel this person watches. Someone that's holding back. You know, I feel this person... may come forwards to me like it's a feminine energy to me it feels like a third party i feel like this person was a karmic there's something changing in the energy they're watching you this person is watching you though that's the thing this third party So this could be someone that they have in their life. Let's find out a bit more about this page. Tell us more about the page, please, spirits. Who is the page? Who is this page of swords? You've got the king of pentacles. The queen of pentacles. I'll grab one more. So this could be someone that this person is married to. As I said, it could be a third party. It's coming out as that third party energy to me. Someone that could have been, as I said, a karmic cycle, could be a karmic cycle for this person. This person and this third party could have been giving, and giving to that energy because you've got a pair here. And then you've got the hanging man, Pisces energy. So someone that feels stuck, someone that could be spending a bit of money. Someone that's feeling like the wounded warrior. So there could have been an ending between these two. I feel like you've got earth energy coming out. So that person, that energy that you are coming together with, they could have earth in their chart too. Someone that could be a boss, a leader. This person looks at that situation, I feel, from a different point of view now. I feel like this person could have had an epiphany that this was some type of karmic cycle. But they're watching you. Okay. What is this Five of Swords? You've got the Four of Swords. The Seven of Cups. And the King of Wands. So I feel like this person wants to collaborate with you. With the Three of Pentacles on the back of the deck, they're doing the work here by themselves. I feel like they want your opinion in some type of help. There could have been a conflict in the past. This person could have had conflict with that third party. But I feel like, because there's two energies here, so they could have made both these energies walk away. Um, but I feel like there's some type of regret with you as to why they come forwards i feel like 
They look at you as stability. I feel like they want to heal this connection. They're making that decision with the Seven of Cups. You know, they have options, but they're choosing an option, and the option is you. With the King of Wands coming out, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They're the King of Wands. You're the Queen of Wands, okay? So you're both passionate. This person's very attracted to you. You're very attracted to them. This person could be very good looking. You light a fire in this person. You bring the passion out. This person has frozen emotions also, someone that doesn't show that emotion. But they're just like mesmerized i feel like they want to heal this after making you walk away i feel like they don't want you to walk away what is the empress what is the empress you have the ten of swords the nine of wands And the Nine of Pentacles. The Empress, Taurus Energy. The Divine Feminine. She's focused on herself. She's focused on the wealth around her, the green, her crop. Someone that is also grounded. She is a mother, she's nurturing, she's understanding. You know, you're really focused on a crop that you have. I feel like you also sit in this wounded warrior energy after the past. You hold these boundaries up, you sit in wounded warrior energy over that past. Um, but you need those boundaries up to protect this Nine of Pentacles, this crop that you have. You know, I feel there was betrayal in your past. I feel like there's no more betrayal. I feel like there's something that you're birthing also with the Empress coming out, Taurus energy, a new idea. So there could be a new beginning coming with you in this energy in the future, because I feel like this is future, present and past energy. Everyone's storyline might be a little different. But you're turning your back on betrayal, okay? You have the boundaries up now. I feel like there's a lot of focus on something in the material world around you. You've got the Nine of Pentacles coming out. So something big is, I feel, coming into fruition in the material world. But I also feel like you're the mother, you're the giver. You're the queen. You're the empress. Let's see what the sun is for you. You've got this happiness now. So what is, you know, you look towards the sun. You look towards your happiness. You could be focused on family and children, but you're focused on, you know, nurturing. Nurturing something, whether it be family, children, love, something in the material world. Your crop is growing. What is the sun for Pisces? The Six of Wands, victory, success, crossing over the finish line. The world, Capricorn energy. There's something that you're reaching the world with. You could be doing something online. You are the star. You're the light that shines the truth. The Four of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. You're going to fight for your happiness. You're going to fight for you, whatever makes you happy. You could be juggling a lot at the moment. But you're taking a new path, I feel. I feel like there's a cycle also being completed while you start some new path. 
with the sun coming out the sun is the yes card leo energy leo energy could be significant you know but you're walking into your happiness now you're choosing a path you're choosing a new path that may have been in front of you, you know, in the past. I feel you see this cup now. I feel like you fight for this. I feel like you're very focused on this, very, very focused on this, and it's going to lead to victory. So you're going to get it all. But I feel like there's a lot of work that needs to be done. You sit in this Two of Pentacles energy also. You know, you're leaving the sorrow, you're leaving things that aren't fulfilling and you're walking into a new world and this is going to lead to happiness, everything you desire. It could lead to children also. You've got that sun coming out. The sun is coming out. You do have someone here, though. You do have a third party watching someone. You know, they don't have to be an ex, but they were like an ex's ex. But, you know, the queen and the king of pentacles was coming out. You know, they could have been someone that was working with this person. But to me, I feel like it's like they've chose you and they didn't choose that other person and this other person isn't liking that idea. Okay, let's do this Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Wands for you, Pisces. What's the Wheel of Fortune? You have the Six of Pentacles. The devil. And the magician. The wheel of fortune. Things are changing in your energy. There's someone going to give to you. You know, the six of pentacles is either... You know, it's like equal give and take or someone giving or someone receiving. And I feel like whether you are receiving something, um, you've got the devil coming out, Capricorn energy. It could be coming from someone that has Capricorn in their chart. They could have Sagittarius. You've got Virgo here also. But I feel like there's a change in the air. There could have been some type of codependencies or addiction that this person had. This person could have been manipulating you in the past they could have been also breadcrumbing but i feel like things are changed times are changing this person's owing you like giving you what they owe you okay they could have a codependency or an addiction to someone or something in their life that manipulates them But I feel things are changing. What's the Knight of Wands? What is the Knight of Wands? You have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Strength, Leo. The lovers and the page of wands. So a lot of wands energy, a lot of passion. This person comes out as someone that's very fiery. Could have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius in their chart. Someone that doesn't think before they act. Someone that follows their dreams. Like a dreamer, someone that's creative. They're coming in, taking action. They're walking in handsomely looking in or well, walking in very attractively. As I said, they could be a younger energy. It's taking a lot of courage for them, I feel, to come forwards. With the lovers coming out, they're making that choice. Gemini energy could be significant with this person. Also Sagittarius, as I said before, and Leo. You know, but I feel like they want healing and balance with you. I feel like they look at you like you are some type of angel in their life 
heaven sent. They keep looking at you. They can't stop looking at you. All these cards that I look at, they're all looking at you. Okay? So they think of you like the divine feminine, like their counterpart. I feel like there is a past between you and this energy. But do expect to hear from this person. This may come in as something sexual at first. This person I feel is hiding what they have to say, like their emotions anyway. They're hiding those cups. They don't like to show emotion, but they do want healing of this connection. And I feel like if you haven't heard from this person yet, do expect to hear from him in the future. This person, male or female, whoever they are in your life. This is part of the challenge for them, I feel. This is a big challenge for them to get out of their head, to be more emotional Okay, Pisces, let's grab out some music messages for you now. So pick your pile, one, two, or three. You can pick more than one. Give it a shuffle. That's a collective don't stop believing journey. I heard that song on the radio just before I left work. Okay, and we'll do pile number one, two and three. So pile number one, you have got to be real, Cheryl Lynn. Number two, son of a preacher man, Dusty Springfield. And number three, counting stars, One Republic. So listen to those songs. They will have messages and I will grab out my wrong deck, a Celtic spirit oracle card for the collective. One card for Collective. The Weavers, Fate, Manifestation, Decisions. So as I said, there's going to be decisions that you need to make coming in the future with this energy. This is part of fate. Everything happens for a reason. Divine timing is also coming out. Your manifestation is coming into fruition. I feel it's got something to do with the material world. Also, the nines coming out. I saw one and eight equals nine, and it just reminded me of the nine of pentacles card that was coming out for you. So there's something in the material world I feel is growing, something that you've manifested. Um, also, I feel like with love, you could have manifested something with love. And part of your fate is coming in divine timing, and I feel like the divine timing is um, right now. Pisces, I am going to leave it there. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember, all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. I am also doing personal readings. Please give me up to five days to get that reading to you so I have enough time and energy to give to you, you know, and your reading that you deserve. Also, I am am celebrating 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube. So I am doing 10% off my personal readings on my website. So if you would like 10% off your reading, this is for the month, like from the 27th of May to the 27th of June. So for a whole month, I will have 10% off. Use the code 10K and you will get that 10% off. But I love you all so much. Thank you all for being here and supporting me. I love doing these readings. I love the community. You are all beautiful people to me. And yes, I wish you all the best in the future. But I'll be here again tomorrow. So I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.